Hi, I'm Pete Secor, and I'd like to demonstrate the uh, view of the readings that the risk reporter shows uh, when operating uh, to measure airflow using the pressure module. In the other room, we have a pressure module mounted on the side of a capture hood, and uh, it is sending uh, actual data from uh, the airflow uh, uh, test facility. So, uh, first of all, in terms of units, we're designating here that we're measuring uh, CFM and that the little u tells us that those are uncorrected readings. Every time the rectangle flashes, that's a new reading coming in. And uh, open means that the flaps are open. Uh, if the flaps were closed, uh, it, would, it would say closed. But you can have a flaps closed uh, reading that is not back pressure uh, compensated, especially uh, useful for low flow. Anyway, the uh, flaps are open and we're measuring uh, uncompensated uh, CFM. The current reading is at the upper left, a new reading every time the black rectangle flashes. The previous four readings are shown along the right side. If we use the V key, we go through a, a sequence of uh, views of the same uh, uh, information, but giving us uh, a new way of viewing the information. So I'll press V to get over to this particular uh, window. In this window we can store data and we can see uh, statistics. If I press uh, the S key to store, or if I'm using a thumb switch, I need only uh, press the button on the thumb switch. So, so far in memory group AB I stored one reading, and therefore the average, max, and min are the same. Also in this mode we have uh, available to us a sum uh, or total uh, feature. If I press uh, S again, and uh, capture another uh, reading and press S again and capture another reading. I've now stored three readings. The sum of those readings is uh, 2272. For, so for uh, operations of doing a survey of a facility, uh, this is a great way uh, in a hurry to be able to find out uh, an estimate of the supply air or an estimate of the return air by just uh, storing uh, those particular uh, diffuser readings. If I press V, uh, I go to a screen that's only used for back pressure compensation. So I'm going to come back to that uh, uh, feature in a, in a minute. I want to press on here and look at the different ways that the statistics uh, can be viewed. In this window, I have a column for uncorrected and a column for corrected. Again, we haven't done any back pressure compensation yet. So I've stored uh, in as the number stored. I've stored three different readings of uh, on back pressure compensation and this is again is the sum, the average, the max, and the min of those particular uh, readings. If I press V again we have a format that's familiar uh, from uh, other uh, sensors. The record number 1, 2, 3, the time, and the date uh, are shown here. There's a column for uncorrected and a column uh, for corrected. When this is uploaded to an Excel spreadsheet uh, through this uh, USB uh, port. Uh, this will be the uh, format of the data uh, that can be seen on the computer. I come around, this is the link status. Here's another view of the data. At the upper left again, the current readings are shown. A new reading uh, is being shown when the little uh, black star shows. Uh, once again, uh, we have the ability to store uh, in this uh, mode. Uh, so I'll go ahead and press S to store the fourth reading in this uh, sequence AB. Also shown here are the average max and min in a different format uh, than, than what we had before. What this uh, view of the data brings is at the upper right. These are my assumptions on the density of the air. So far we're operating in a standard 70 degree F uh, mode. The uh, pressure module automatically measures the barometric pressure, 28.78. Uh, that gives me the uh, density of the air, 0.072 pounds per cubic foot. And uh, a little uh, tweak here, we show the uh, calculated altitude at 1149 uh, feet of elevation. And uh, so far we've uh, designated a, a cross-sectional uh, area uh, here. Uh, so let me move on from there. And then uh, you've seen this uh, particular uh, format uh, before. Okay, I'm going to pause here, and in a moment, 
will show how the uh, back pressure uh, compensation is accomplished using uh, the wrist reporter and the pressure module.